Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video, we're going to react to when good Samaritans save cops. Now, I wonder what circumstances, you know, we've, we're going to find this video. Like, why would a cop need to be saved? Because if it's an American cop, usually they're armed. You know, they've got the taser, they've got, you know, uh, I think they've usually got a baton as well. So what's going to happen here? Maybe the cop is outnumbered, potentially. Maybe the cop is hurt. I don't know. It could be. It could be so many. Um, there's so many possibilities here. So I'm quite eager to get into this one. Why are you getting out of the car, sir? This is 64-year-old David Kubek, who was just pulled over for speeding. After the officer approaches the car, Kubek is seen stepping out of the vehicle to get his license from the back seat. I don't get my driver's license. 12 radio. This male just stepped out of the vehicle. Step over here now. Have a seat on the ground. The officer tries to get him to sit on the ground, to which he refuses and aggressively gets in the officer's Ooh. face. Have a seat. I'm not sitting. I'm not sitting! Oh, Back God. off! Back up! I'm not sitting! Oh, God. Put your hands behind your back. I'm not sitting! I will tase you, sir. After Quebec refused multiple orders, the police officer pushes Quebec against the car, which results in a physical struggle. Oh no! Oh no! Quickly, the officer realizes she is overpowered by Quebec. Thank. This situations like this, because you know, the average man, you know, is I think it's just stronger than the average woman, right? So, I just, it, is it safe for her to be by herself? You know. Yeah, let's cancel that. Like situations like this, is it safe for her to be by herself doing this? Because, you know, look how like relatively easily he's overpowering her, you know? Thankfully, four people passing by get out of their cars to assist the officer and help detain the man. What the fuck? Wow. Wow. Radio semi unit. You don't do that to a woman. Do you understand me? Quebec is being charged with assaulting an officer and resisting arrest, along with his speeding ticket. Oh my God. So he he was just going to get a speeding ticket, and now he's probably looking at prison time because he assaulted an officer. What a dummy, eh? What a dummy. Is a citizen going after him? Police were chasing a suspect in a stolen truck. They say they tried to pull the man over, but he took off. Oh, look at they that followed tire. the suspect, the weaving gone. through traffic in neighborhoods before finally ending up in this industrial complex. Going behind the building. Okay, got him over here to the... No, he's got nowhere to go. It's over here to the left, Dave. The man took off on foot, jumping over a fence to get away from police. That's a kid. Oh, man, he, uh, is he gonna get over? Nah, he ain't getting over that fence. Thankfully, a man driving down the road Ooh. saw the suspect and jumped Ooh. out of his car and started chasing him down the side of the road. Wow, look at this guy. Oh, is it citizen going after him? Unbelievable. He's got him. He's got him. Oh. Boom. After catching up to the suspect, he gives him a big bear hug and restrains the man wow. until police arrive. Wow. Unbelievable. Citizen after him. <laughs> the suspect in this... Because most people would just mind their own business, wouldn't they? I guess he just fancied being a hero for the day. Blue car was believed to be involved in a recent shooting. A suspect can be seen in an active pursuit trying to evade police, weaving in and out of traffic with multiple police vehicles following. While most people were trying to get out of the way of the pursuit, one vehicle decided to try and help the police trap the suspect. The two vehicles you see here are unmarked police cars. The person uh, in this blue truck was not. You could see them aggressively cut off the suspect and help wow, the police he's going detain nowhere. the driver. Unless he, if, if he reversed, if he reversed right now, like if he just did a, a two point turn, could have got out of there. Mate, it's a over. mom with a baby stroller was walking down the side of an alley waiting for a car to pass them. The driver of the car is 16-year-old Christopher Baca, who seems to be intentionally driving straight towards the mother and her baby. Oh my god. You can see Rachel, the mother, oh, attempt god. to lift the stroller over the oncoming car. 
After striking the two, the driver keeps going trying to flee the scene. Just before the teen can get away, oh a good Samaritan crashes his truck into the fleeing driver. The driver pleaded guilty to a hit and run and was only sentenced to five to seven months in juvenile detention. The what? There's no fucking way that he only got five to seven months. He could have killed that kid. There's no Community way. Community was outraged at the decision, including Rachel. To me, it seems almost like a light sentence. You try That's to kill two people and, and you get five months in a juvenile camp. However, Christopher Baca was shot and killed shortly after his sentence was over. Wow. Two police officers got into a foot chase with this man who took off after police tried to pull him over for driving a stolen car. The license plate was showing to be a stolen vehicle. During the foot chase, one of the officers starts to tire out. Running in the summer heat with an extra 20 pounds of equipment starts to finally slow him down. What's up? Yeah. But that's when Jimmy Davis pulls up and offers the officer a ride. Yes, uh -huh. sir. So would you want a ride? He goes, yeah, man, let me get in. The Good Samaritan saw the police chase happening and offered to lend a hand. At the right place at the right time. To be fair, like, it's, this guy's probably the most exciting thing like of his day, being involved in like a police chase. To help an officer. I appreciate it. Davis brings the officer to his partner who already has the suspect on the ground. Had to get a taxi, don't mind me. Police were in pursuit Uber. of a fleeing vehicle carrying 30 bundles of heroin. Into the Myers parking lot. After turning into a parking lot, the suspect nearly crashes. Just seconds later, the man driving this white van has a tough decision to make. He says, if my life has to be put on the line to save five people from getting killed, then my life could be is gone. He gonna, is he gonna smash head on into it? Yeah, wow. The man pins the suspect's door shut so he can't escape. Wow. Get your fucking hands up! Back up! Get your fucking hands up and stay there! But will the police, like, surely the police department will pay for the damage, you know, for his car? Because, you know, if, had he not acted, they probably wouldn't have been able to make the arrest. So I hope he's going to get that covered, right? Because, yeah, the whole front of his uh, car is damaged. Police later found a stolen handgun with 30 rounds in the car. After pulling a man over for reckless driving, the suspect immediately gets out of his car what are you and lands doing? on the ground in the middle of a busy intersection. What are you doing? The man appears very frightened and skittish, which is most likely drug related. What's going on? No, no, no. Calm down, calm down. What, is it? what are you doing? You're, you're, you're crazy. You're going crazy here. The officer tries to calm the man down for his own safety. What's going on? Because you about to almost crash into me. Hold on Calm down. What's your name? Frampadilla. Frampolina. I want to call my law. No, 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 no. You're going to stay right here. Come back here a second. Come back here a second. Come back here. Come back here, man. Come on, hold on. Put your hands on your back. Put your hands on your back. Put your hands on your back. Put your hands on your back, man. Put your hands on your back. Dude. Oh, just, just, just comply, man. Uh, I don't know what's going on with this guy. He seems all over the place, doesn't he? Stop. Once it becomes clear that the man is not in his right state of mind, the officer attempts to cuff him. The suspect begins resisting, which results in a struggle. The officer's body cam disconnects during the struggle, but thankfully another officer arrives on the scene. This man right here is an innocent bystander who later helps the officers restrain the man. Hey, get, get on the ground. Get on the ground. Put your hand behind your back. Put your hand behind your back. It's crazy. It's crazy seeing people get involved, like normal people. Blood on his head after taking a punch from the suspect. Put your hand behind your back. Put your hand behind your back. 
Nobody's it's gonna kill you. Not one of you. It ain't worth it, buddy. It ain't worth it. You okay, sir? You believe me? I'm fine. Oh, okay. uh, I am. Oh, man, he took a punch. You good? Yeah. Everybody okay? We're going to rescue? Jeez. Hey! Relax. 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 Well, who nobody hits you in your face. Relax. Sit up. This was just so unnecessary. You should have just... Sit on your butt. You good, sir? Your officer was just talking to him. Yeah? He shoved your officer, tried to run away. Your officer grabbed his hand. Your officer... Yeah, he did nothing. I was sitting at the light. He was talking to him. No. The guy tried to run away. He grabbed his hand and swung at your officer. Crazy. I have to say that the uh, ordinary citizens that got involved in those arrests, they really, really deserve a round of applause. I don't know if I'd get involved unless if I really, really saw maybe that the officer really, really, really needed help. Maybe I'd get involved because I, I think most people will just mind their own business, you know, because it's like you never know if the person has got a weapon on them. You could be caught in the mix. You know, you could get hurt like the guy in the last video you know he, he took a punch to the head he was bleeding but yeah hopefully they get the the people that that help out they get some kind of uh i don't know recognition whether it's a reward or at least the damage to their vehicles because there was a few examples here where you know the, their cars because they you know stopped the perpetrator from fleeing they got crashed into so hopefully at least the damage gets repaired thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one